glamour, stylish, the hottest elegance that reflects your personality. Mobile phones have gone from science fiction to everyday fashion accessory. Everyone wants into the phone business. So let's go to our phone. From stalwarts like Apple to big name designers like Prada. That's because today's phones play music, show maps, cater to the kids, and sometimes are covered in diamonds. The folks at Nokia think they have the next big innovation. Nokia introduces Point and Find, a service that introduces a new convenient way of accessing the internet on the mobile. There's this restaurant, uh, and I'd recognize this Mexican restaurant info. We can then browse the menu. But Point and Find is just the start. Pretty soon the entire plan is going to be pretty much covered by this wireless grid. John Shen, head of Nokia's research lab, says that soon your cell phone will know more about your world and yourself than you do. Other than telling you where all the restaurants are nearby you, this device can tell you the average wait time that you can expect at each one of those restaurants. The device may even remember of uh, what your daily activity pattern looks like, weekly patterns, monthly patterns, and can use that information to speculate on what you might be doing and what type of information you might need. That may sound like science fiction, but it's in the lab right now. So what unimaginable advances can we expect 20 years from now? Futurist Anthony Townsend has a better idea than most. I don't think we'll, we'll have phones the way we have them today. They'll either be worn uh, as you know ornaments like jewelry, um, they may be paired, so you know I may have a necklace that's paired to my wife's necklace, and we're always in communication. But voice communication is the least part of it. What will happen when our communication devices become part of our bodies? Basically, it just means that you know any emotion, any thought, uh, any desire, you'll be able to instantly transmit to one or more people uh, in real time, and they'll be able to basically you know feel your thoughts and your desires in, in real time. Let's hope carriers improve service by then. Miscommunication's bad enough with dropped calls, much less dropped trains of thought. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com. Can you hear what I'm thinking now? How about now? For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.